Hi you guys, I'm Ayushi and welcome back to the channel. Finally, you guys have been asking me to make this video since so many days now. You wanted a neat guide, a complete neat guide from starting to finish. This is your one-stop solution for your neat guide. सब कुछ मैं तुम्हें इस वीडियो में बताने वाली हूँ. So let's get started with the video. Now, whether you're in your 11th, your 12th, or your drop year, wherever you stand, this video is going to help you out. So let's start with the video. Now that that is out of the way, let me tell you how to start this journey and where to start studying from. कहाँ से start करूँ? It's so confusing. There are so many videos. There are so many different things. So many coaching centers. What is right for me? What is best for me? And where should I start from? Now, if you're in your 11th or 12th, the simplest thing to do. इज वॉट एवर यू बिंग टॉट इन यूर स्कूल और कोचिंग सेंटर उसको पढ़ते जाओ डोंट की बैकलॉग्स इफ यू हैव एनी बैकलॉग्स ट्राई टू कीप डिलीटिंग 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 दैम सो ना वॉट एवर टॉपिक इज बिंग टॉट इन यूर स्कूल और कॉलेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स रोटेशनल मोशन पढ़ाया जा रहा है तुम्हारे स्कूल या कॉलेज में या कोचिंग में तो वहाँ पढ़ो अटेंशन दो एंड देन कम बैक एंड सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन वट एवर क्वेश्चन इज देयर नीट रिलेटेड उसको सॉल्व करो बस इतना करो कीप इट सिंपल डोंट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड यू डोट नेक अ मास्टर टाइम टेबल की आठ घंटा कैसे पढ़े बारह घंटा कैसे पढ़े तुम पढ़ते जाओ सब अपने आप आराम से होता जाएगा ना इफ यू आर कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन ऑफलाइन एंड ऑनलाइन कोचिंग लेट मी जस्ट क्लियर योर डाउट वेरी क्विकली देखो बहुत सिंपल है ऑफलाइन कोचिंग इज ऑलवेज गुड बी सुपीरियर टू ऑनलाइन कोचिंग यू माइट थिंक इज कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल यू माइट थिंक कि हाउ इज दैट इन पॉसिबल बट दैट इज द रियलिटी आई टेल यू वाई बिकॉज Because even if you're unmotivated, तुम्हारे में कोई motivation नहीं है don't feel like studying, you're sick. Whatever the reason is, you have to show up every day at the coaching center and sit there. Even though you're not in the mood to study, you don't want to listen anything. Even if you just shut up and sit there, you will hear something and you will remember something. Rather than just depending on your motivation की how much you are motivated to open up the tab and study, that doesn't work for 99% of the people. So you need an offline coaching center to keep you on track and to drag you from your bed. the coaching center now the teachers might not be that good in offline coaching center i have personal experience and uh, i think online teachers are way better but the resources that you get from your offline coaching center the books that they give you is top notch top quality you know these big brands that are there they are big for a reason because the material is actually nice number 3 you see your competition every day when you go to an offline coaching center you see there are thousands of students around and you know for a fact that out of these thousand people only 10 to 15 of them will get a medical college do you want to be one of those people yes then study how will you get this motivation if you show up every day and you see people around you studying to dekho ki wo pad raha hai wo wahan pad rahi hai you will automatically start studying and number 4 the offline mock tests are far far superior because you will learn and adapt to the omr filling process tum jitna fill karoge utna tumhare liye easy hoga the more you do it the lesser mistakes you'll make on the exam These things are simply not possible with an online coaching center so you need an offline coaching center. What I did and what I also recommend for you to do is to use the best of the both worlds. Offline coaching center jao along with that register for an online coaching center. I used physics wala courses main unka YouTube channel bhi dekhti thi. Along with that maine ek uh, batch liya tha that was there for uh, neat. Teachers come on are definitely superior in your online center because they have experience and they teach you better and you actually listen to them. I used to study from there and then offline coaching center me I used to just use it as a revision the books that I got I used them and the mock tests and the competition part so I recommend for you to take both of these okay. because online courses are cheap 4 to 5000 me you'll get the entire year ka uh, content so this was the content part now how to study and where to study from books simply as i told you jo coaching center se mujhe books milte the i used to study them along with that ncert for biology gold standard bible whatever Even for organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry, NCERT is gold standard. For physics, simply lectures pe depend karti thi and you know uh, coaching material pe and uh, questions pe. And that was for physics. Chemistry me NCERT like I told you for some. There's somebody staring at me from that side of the road. Now let me just tell you, if you're a newbie in this industry, NCERT might seem simple, baby doll, but it's absolutely not because it might seem like a 400 page book. But when you read it between the lines and you make your own notes, it becomes a thousand page book. Just like that. So um, that's one thing to keep in mind, and uh, yeah, that was about the resources. Very simple, plain, to the point, crisp. Okay. Now let me tell you some study tips and some study techniques that are very simple, effective, and uh, can be done by you easily. Okay. Number one, before I tell you anything, I want you to focus and develop your own system and your own technique and your own schedule. You know yourself better than anybody else, right? जो तुम अब तक करते आ रहे हो, that's been working for you. Use those techniques and uh, develop more of them, and just. Understand what works for you. 
rather than what works for somebody else. Even study tips for neat and I stand by it. I'm so proud of myself for giving these tips on Pinterest. But I'm going to tell you here as well. So the first tip is to divide and conquer. The syllabus is vast. It's overwhelming. Divide it into topics that you want to study today. Just write the topics that you want to study today. After you're done studying with it, just solve the questions related to those topics. Number two, don't refer too much. Stick to just one or two resources. Ek do teacher ko dekha karo, even on uh, YouTube or Instagram or wherever. Stick to them. Don't feel FOMO ki bhai main sabko dekhun, sabko dekhun. You'll just get confused and everything will just gaju mauju ho jayega tumhari dimag mein. So stick to one or two teachers. Fix your sleep cycle. No matter how much you need to be studying, no matter where you want to see yourself, you want to be AIR one of need. That's amazing. But please sleep at least six to eight hours. Yes, six to eight. If you're sleeping for four hours and you think, "Ki bhai, sigma sigma boy," no. Please sleep. Please get your sleep because there's nothing more relaxing and rejuvenating than having a good amount of sleep. Revise, revise, revise. There is a no and absolutely no alternative. to revising the more you revise the better you can start revising as early as the first week of your uh, preparation for neat which i know most of you will not but i'm still telling you because the portion is so vast you will keep completing it as a as a as a as a you will keep piling up so much so much and then you will forget things and when you forget things you will not get good marks and when you will not get good marks you will get demotivated and once you get demotivated you will stop studying so stop this vicious cycle by revision come on please revise as much as you can and uh, that's just going to help you improve your marks there is no harm in revision it's just going to do better for you now let me tell you about the mistakes to completely avoid miss ma'am the number of people that make this mistakes is actually hideously large i don't want you to be one of them so please avoid these mistakes number 1 is to not study like why you not study come on if you want to become a doctor and you want to clear this exam you need to study obviously to tum padhte jao Even if you're studying small, small portion, that's completely fine. Just stay consistent. Doesn't matter how much you're studying, but every day, कुछ ना कुछ तो पढ़ते जाओ, okay? Because once you have this much backlog, you will just feel demotivated. So it's okay even if you have this much backlog. It's completely okay to have backlogs. But I want you to study every day. Number two is to not give your mock tests. I have made this mistake. That's why I'm telling you to not make these mistakes. बिकॉज uh, तुम क्या सोच रहे हो तुम ये सोच रहे हो कि भाई मेरा पोर्शन ही कम्प्लीट नहीं हुआ आई हैव नॉट कम्प्लीट द पोर्शन सो वॉट इज द पॉइंट द पॉइंट ऑफ यू गिविन दिस एग्जाम इज टू नो वेर यू स्टैंड इट्स नॉट टू शो योर पेरेंट्स की भाई देखो मुझे चार सौ नंबर आ गए पाँच सौ नंबर आ गए इट्स फॉर यू फॉर यू टू नो वेर यू स्टैंड तुम कितने पानी में हो हाउ मच मोर एफर्ट्स यू नीड टू पुट एंड कितना और तुम्हें काम करना है टू रीच द एंड गोल इट इज जस्ट अ चेक फॉर यू एंड नॉट फॉर एनीबडी एल्स इट्स अ रिमाइंडर फॉर यू to do better to study better and the last mistake to completely avoid is to not revise itna portions hai you think you don't have time to revise you barely have time to complete it but you have to squeeze in revision somewhere or the other because if you don't revise you just forget and if you forget come on mindset and motivation for mindset ke liye it is a very daunting exam it is a very draining exam so what i recommend for you to do is to please take care of your mental health do some journaling do some meditation do some walking talk to your friends talk to your parents whatever works for you Please do that. I'm here if you want to talk to me also, because you need to take care of your mental health. Because nobody's going to be there for you if you're not there for yourself. So make sure you're taking good care of yourself. Eat good food, and yeah, just basically have good circle of friends. Don't have toxicity happening around you. Just take a chill pill. Apart from that, motivation. Now, how do I motivate you? Let me tell you how I motivate myself. Okay, now don't judge me for this because if you judge me for this, I'm just. Simply not going to tell you. Now you might think it's a little cringe or cheesy or like, okay, girl, that's a little too much. But it worked for me, and because I'm a third year MBBS student now, I think I can tell you because it worked for me. I'm here, right? So what I did was basically um, <laughs> hold your horses. I'll just simply show it to you, okay? The reason that I was motivated and I wanted to crack this exam is because I wanted to be a doctor, obviously. Now why I wanted to be a doctor? I mean, obviously to treat people and all that. But uh, the motivation that I gave myself was. I'll just simply show you. I'll just shut up and tell you. Oh my God! Look at her. She's making videos all the time, and she has a YouTube channel. But she's a medico. She's going to be a future doctor. Oh my God! Look at her going out to trips with her friends. But she's in a medical college, and she's going to be a future doctor. Oh my God! Look at her dancing all the time and dancing on stage. She's dancing in the fest of her medical college, and she's going to be a future doctor. Oh my God! What are those outfits? What does she think of herself? She is a future doctor. 
So basically, if you understood this, it's basically me just not wanting to limit myself to a nerd, little stereotypical uh, medical student. I wanted to be more, and I wanted to have all these hobbies. And nobody's going to question me why, because I cleared the exam, and I am in a medical college. So this was my motivation, like a part of my motivation, not my entire thing. So you can develop something around this too if it works for you. Or uh, yeah, you will clap back at all these relatives that spoke about you, all these people that were doubting you and questioning you. with just a simple entry to a medical college so let's go girl what are you waiting for and let's not forget the life when you enter a medical college it's actually really beautiful and very surreal because no other profession can feel the feelings that you feel in a medical college when you enter and you're a newbie to this medical profession you are handed a scalpel to dissect cadavers do you get this in any other field you are cutting and dissecting bodies and learning from them it's a very different and fulfilling experience if you want to be a part of that come on I'm waiting for you on this side of the road. Let's go. I hope this video helped you out. Um this was a very different video than the videos that are actually there around the neat guide topic. Um and that's what I wanted to tell you. Now, and one final tip I want to give you is to be yourself, be unique. You don't have to follow somebody else's footsteps. Uh when you watch all these different neat uh, study with me videos and you see these people studying for 18 hours and getting 600 in the mock test while you're scoring 400, it's completely okay. That's good for them. But you are there for yourself. You have time. and you have uh, the patience to work on yourself work on yourself and you will reach there okay that's all i want to tell you in this video and uh, yes please like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribe if you're new and that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one bye